next up we're going to be creating functions um, we will create a scalar valued, valued function and um, the, the neat thing about about these type of functions is that um, you can um, use them to perform calculations and return values just a single value for you that you can use inside of um, your um, query statements so what we're going to do is uh, if I just uh, show you the purchases we're going to create a little score and we're going to say any customers that exist that haven't made a purchase yet um, we will score the customers from from 1 to 10 and um, existing customers with no purchases yet we'll score give them a score of 1 if a um, customers made um, at least one purchase we'll score them with a 5 and um, if they've made two or more purchases we'll score them as a 10 and uh, and we'll run it through we'll run the customer through this function and uh, it'll spit back and uh, give us a score so um, right now we only have one customer existing in the purchases table it's customer 1000 uh, with an ID of 1000 he's made two purchases and then customer 1010 has only made one purchase so um, let's go ahead and if you open up programmability and go to functions and uh, we're going to scalar valued functions and we're going to click new and once again delete all of this comment generated code just to make it a bit more readable for this tutorial and uh, and uh, let's get started so the very first thing is naming it and the um, convention I go with is func underscore and uh, we're just going to say get customer score and uh, this function is going to take one parameter we are going to accept the customer ID parameter which is an int and this is returning a score of um, 1 to 10 so it's going to return an integer and let's get started so we're passing in the customer ID um, what this is going to have to do is we're going to have to query for um, how many purchases the customer has made so we need and in fact I don't need the customers table because we're passing in the customers ID which exists on the purchasing purchases table so we will um, filter for customer ID and we don't need to display it and we just need to count um, and we'll say and uh, so now we have a query Ah, I need to assign this to a value. Okay, so we have a query that counts the amount of purchases and I just need to declare a score as an int and then we're going to set the score equal to the result of this query. Let me just move this out to clean it up a bit and uh, we can see that score equals actually create one more variable sorry I'm a bit over the place um, this is the total purchases purchases and uh, then we need to add some logic to this so we can use an if statement and say if at total and we need to test this variable so total purchases equals zero and it's not double equals just single then um, return and we set a score of one if Total purchases equals one. Return five. And finally, if total purchases are greater than equal to 
to we will return um, 10 and and just and uh, The only problem is because this is all wrapped in if statements, um, we need to ret always return something. So I'll return a zero if it makes it here, because th this should capture um, all of the possibilities. And uh, so we'll assume that if a zero is returned, that an error has occurred. So now we should be good. Let's go execute. And now we can test out this function. So let's go and uh, create a new query and we are going to select we'll grab customer's first name and last name and uh, now we get to also try our new function out so if we go and refresh should see our function and we can see that the function name I'm going to add a call on the function so it's going to uh, um, select the customer ID first name last name and then finally our function dot func get customer score and once again because um, Management Studio doesn't know I've just created this function yet. Um, I would have to um, refresh, but um, I'm just going to go ahead with this, and uh, so that should call that function, and then I'm just going to give it a name. So, and let's try this out. And as we can see, um, customer 1000 had the two purchases, which has now. Um, been given a score of uh, 10. Uh, Jane Doe had one purchase, so she's been given a score of 5, and then all the remaining uh, customers have a score of 1 because they haven't made any purchases yet.